In today's episode, I'm talking about having fun, but also talking a little bit about collecting, about one of my favorite things that I was doing when I was growing up, which was scouting. Let's get started. Hey guys, Rob here. I know you're probably looking at me going, Rob, I know Halloween's almost here, but what's with the costume? Well, if you saw in the early trailer, this is actually not a costume. This is actually my Boy Scout uniform that I got back in 1996. I was awarded my Eagle Award, which is this guy right here. Now, Scouting, to me, helped me in a lot of ways. Helped me better myself and a lot of things. But you're kind of like, well, wait, that must be fun, but what does it have to do with collecting? Well, I had to collect badges in order to get my eagle. And you're probably looking at this hat here, and on the hat it says, Troop 76, the best troop which some of you are probably going, wait, the best troop? That's kind of bragging, don't you think? Well, the best troop, B-E-S-T, actually stand for our patrol names, Bear, Eagle, Snake, and Tiger. So, best troop, Troop 76, what can you do? <laughs> anyway, so, but I enjoyed scouting when I was in it, and collecting of course the badges and stuff I had to work hard and when I worked hard I ended up getting my award but I also want to talk about this guy right here my handbook without this handbook there's a lot of things in this handbook that talk about things from different plants different animals to how to do even the typical little you know left hand turn, right hand turn, that kind of stuff. But as I was flipping through this, I was just like, man, I wonder what things would be like in different times. Because this version right here, this is the 10th edition. Now, I was in Scouts all the way up until 96. Now, my troop has a saying though, once a member, always a member, which is still true to this day. But I always kind of thought, what would this handbook be in earlier generations? Well, I will tell you right now, thanks to my boss, JR, he gave me something that he knew that I would appreciate as an eagle. Um, and when I looked at it, it just blew my mind because he gave me his grandfather's scout handbook. Now, you probably have a hard time seeing that, but the date on this thing is, it's called the Scout, Boy Scout Diary, is what it's called, Boy Scout Diary. This is 1930, okay? This is the third generation of this book. Now, the pages are pretty frail and stuff like that, but as I was flipping through this, there are similarities but when you look at and compare this to this I mean this is nice because it will fit in your pocket that doesn't fit in a pocket very well <laughs> but the amount of content that's in here does not really compare to what's in here because in here this has a lot of signs and it has plants and stuff like that but when it comes to like one page in here, which was knots, in here they give you the knots that are really meant for when you get your eagle. Here, and three pages, they give you more knots that are not necessarily what I would call necessary to get your eagle. But it's still, it's amazing to me 
the amount of detail that's in this little book. And I, as I said, you look at the side comparison to this, it is absolutely crazy. But when JR gave this to me, um, I had nothing but just like, this is amazing. And when, of course, I got my, when I found my handbook, um, yeah, it was just crazy to compare how, how time has changed over the years for Boy Scouts. And so, yeah, so this little book right here, this was the handbook. And I can tell you right now, just the amount of badges that are in here, um, things that they were talking about, plants, as I said, plants and animals and that kind of stuff. It's just amazing to me the amount of detail that's in here of that stuff. And some of this stuff in here, um, like, let me, um, I'll bring this up to you. This was actually really funny when I saw this because you won't see this in the new book. But right here on this page is the presidents of the United States okay so you go down the list here I mean the last person that was president is is Robert Hoover right there Robert Hoover 1929 so that's and it's number 31 so this to me is you know to put into my collection and especially being a scout um, this means a lot and I know some people out there are in scouting and all I can tell you is is keep up with it you know keep going with it because scouting can change your life um, I know for me I've I was told that when I got my Eagle to make sure I put it on a resume and I was like yeah, you know, well, that's not going to help me at all. It does. Because anybody and everybody knows what an Eagle Scout is. They know your drive, your motivation, your determination to get things done. So, when you look at things like this, and you look at things like this, and they all give you the drive and motivation to get something like this, this is what scouting meant to me and still means to me but seeing things like this makes scouting even more interesting because when you see the time change of how people grew up and how they filled this book with things it, it's just amazing that to me that this was their book and this was my book <laughs> you know what I'm saying so Anyway, um, once again, I, you know, I, I love collecting this stuff. This thing is, this stuff is awesome. Um, and I thank JR um, for giving that to me um, because he knew that as an eagle I would appreciate this. And I do. And I really, really do. So thank you, JR. I appreciate that very much. So I hope people out there that are in scouting see this and and enjoy this um if you like this video hit that like button for me um if you're watching this video and you like my content hit that subscribe button for me because it does help and uh other than that guys um i know it's probably a short video but uh um that's all in a nutshell just basically scouting and what it means to me and then seeing this kind of generation stuff that I mean, when are you ever going to get a chance to do this kind of stuff or see this kind of stuff? So anyway, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.